Mum loved family. She loved to travel and was an accomplished businesswoman. Mum often expressed a deep-seated fear that she would get Alzheimer's like her dad. That had been a very painful time for the entire family. We had to visit Grandpa in a secure facility that was very stark, scary, and hospital-like. I still remember disheveled residents grabbing one another, yelling and making noises. It was terrifying. There was no color, nothing to do, far from the comfortable, loving home he had resided in for decades with Grandma. Would it be different for my mom, or would that be her fate? Her fears increased as her oldest sister was diagnosed. As time passed, all six of the girls in her family would go down the same path as their father. As mom repeatedly expressed her fears, little did she know, we were already seeing the signs. We would reassure her that we sure hoped that wouldn't be her fate either. But I had already started reading all I could about dementia, what to expect, the progression, but most importantly, how as a caregiver, I could help her to live the best life possible. When she moved into memory care, I found it hadn't changed much from her father's time. The environment was still stark and scary and hospital-like, not homey. The expectation from the managers was that you would bring in minimal things, only put pictures on the six hooks provided, and that she had to use a hospital bed. Residents were very isolated and seemed starved for companionship, recreation, physical activities. No outings and no access to outdoors without me. Even a cup of coffee wasn't allowed except at mealtimes. I had to become her medical advocate as administration of medications had led to her becoming a fall risk. She really needed to feel safe and secure at home. I was gonna do my best to provide that. So we made her surroundings familiar. We brought in many of her favorite things. We visited several hours a week had coffee and snacks, sometimes watched funny videos or did sing-along songs. I paid for a local music therapist and a home support worker to come in weekly, which benefited her and gave me a much needed break. We went on many outings. She would stay with us at home when family came to visit, keeping her busy with familiar tasks, and she was always happy to help. I would get her to water my flowers over and over and over, and she loved to sit and pet Buddy, our dog. I took her on two trips south to see all the family. She was so thrilled to see everyone. In fact, one evening in the hotel, not remembering what she had done that day, she said, when I die, if I have a huge smile on my face, it's because I'm remembering this day. Yes, the long trip was a success. Now that she's gone, we try and focus on the many past and new memories we made together and not the many stressful challenges. All the effort to make her feel safe, have warm, familiar surroundings, and enjoy the loving care of family and friends was worth it. It contributed to her quality of life.